guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Kayla, and I have not been on YouTube for very long. <laughs> so if you guys like what you see here, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscription button, hit that, that notification bell, so I can keep putting out more content, and it'll help support me and what I do. So anyways, anyways, what am I saying? What am I, what am I gabbing on about? So today I really wanted to work with some purples. I really love purples on my eyeballs and I wanted to do some more with my neon pigments. Um, so this is what I came up with. I used mostly the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette. I know, but I'm sorry. It's like hands down my favorite palette that I own. I'm actually thinking about doing a video on like must have palettes or must have beauty products that I just, I can't get enough of. So I used that palette and I used my Morphe palette, which is actually still open. It's actually really, really simple. I'm trying to get more into like intricate looks, but sometimes I just hit like a creative block and it's kind of hard for me to figure out what I want to do. Like if I'm adding too much or if I'm doing too much or if I did it in another look, do I really want to do it again? You know, it's just kind of hard. I kind of tend to overthink things a little bit and sometimes I don't know when to stop. <laughs> like I have that too much gene, you know. But anyways, um, I really hope you guys like this look and if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's just dive right in. Okay, so I've already primed my eye. Nothing new with my Revlon Candid Concealer. Just really getting that blended in. The first shade I'm going to use is this purple one right here from the Morphe Such a Gem palette. And we are just going to put that right in here. Also, if you guys can hear my window, I am so sorry. It's like a hurricane outside. It is so windy. It's been like this since yesterday. So if you hear like banging around outside, that's what that is. So I'm taking this purple all the way in, just really deepening that up. So I'm really rounding this look out because I'm kind of going for like a purple smoky eye right here. To blend that out, I'm going to go in with Miles High from my from my Beauty Bay Mitchell palette, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna start blending that out. Really smoking this look out. This color does not want to blend out Ugh. okay so that color is a little difficult to blend out so I'm gonna go in with like a, a medium brown and I'm gonna go in with the shade Morgan and hopefully that'll help it a little bit Okay, so that actually helped blend it out a lot. So then I'm going to go back in with Miles High and start blending this out. Hopefully. It's a really, really light purple shade. Next what I'm going to do is go back into the deep purple shade that we put down first and just start to redeepen this a little bit. Redeepen? Is that a word? Redeepen. Redeepen. Deepen? I don't know. And then just going back in with Morgan just to blend out those edges. Oh my god, do you hear the wind? Well, 
Well, I picked bad day to film. Why not? Okay, so to highlight the brow bone, ugh, this is so sad. Um, I'm gonna take my Revolution Soap palette, and mine, I dropped it in a couple videos, but I freaking broke it. But I'm gonna take the purple shade in here, and I'm gonna use that to highlight. My God. This is a really good highlight palette, by the way. I would recommend buying this, just don't drop it. Okay, so for the lid, I'm actually gonna go in with my purple neon pigment. I wanted to do a look with all of these colors, and I was really feeling the purple today, so I hope that this is actually like super neon. I guess we'll see, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's gonna be neon like the pink and the orange and all of that, but it is what it is. So I'm going to grease cut. Y'all already know. I can't decide if I want to like cut the whole lid or just like part of it and then, I don't know. I think I'm going to just do part of it and see how I feel after that. So I'm going to draw my line and then look up. That's kind of like my guideline, but because I have hooded eyes, I do kind of have to go a little bit more, a little bit higher than that. So I'm just going to fill the rest of it in just to give the pigment something to stick to and I'm only gonna go about to here because I'm gonna want to deepen that outer corner up just a little bit more okay so immediately just jumping into that pigment very carefully because like I said these are stacked they do not come separately Maybe I should use a different brush. I wonder if that would even make a difference. I'm gonna try it on a different brush just to see if it does anything different. Oh, it goes a lot further. <laughs> okay, you live and you learn. This is actually way more neon than I thought it was going to be. I hope it's picking up on camera. I struggle with my lighting all the time. Ooh, that's a nice shade. I really like that actually. That looks really, really good. Oh. So I'm not like swiping it on there, I'm just patting it because I don't want to move the product around too, too much. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's close this up before I spill it everywhere because apparently lately I'm just a clumsy bitch. Okay, so before we move on to deepening up the outer corner, I'm actually going to take a really small angled brush and some more of that purple that we first went in with and I'm just going to redefine that line right here. I do this almost every time I do a cut crease. It just gives it some more dimension. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Mafia and it's just the black shade in the Mitchell palette, this one right here. And I'm just going to create an angle on the outer corner.
just to help deepen up the outer corner and just give it a little bit more dimension. There's something stabbing me on this brush. Ma'am? Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of dimension. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the deep purple and just help blend that in. Just tapping it. People are yelling outside. Can you shut up? God. Don't they know I'm filming in here? So rude. So if I'm being completely honest, I kind of feel like my look went, like the purple up in this area kind of just went muddy. Not, not necessarily muddy, but it just kind of all blended together and it just looks like one dark color. So I think I'm actually going to go back in with Morgan and just try and bring some purple back into this look. Like, I feel like we lost, you know, the purple of it. And then I'm going to go back in with Miles High, which was the light purple, and put that back in here. So I think for liner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Abused from Jeffree Star, and this is like a super, super deep, purpley bluey color and on a really really small eyeliner brush I'm gonna mess this up I can already freaking tell I'm gonna use that as eyeliner oh god oh no okay that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be and also, it just looks black. Um, it really doesn't look like purple. I mean, this shade is super dark regardless. So, that actually came out way better than I thought it was going to. That was like super easy. So for lashes, I'm gonna use my Ardell Wispy Lashes and I think I'm gonna double stack them. I'm not sure yet. I kinda want something dramatic, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do that do my other eye and then I will come back. How is it that lashes and eyebrows just make the biggest difference? Like, I really just don't get it. So before we move on to the face, I'm actually gonna finish up the under eye first um, because there's really nothing new with my face so I'm just gonna like speed that clip up, you know? So for my under eyes, I'm gonna first line my waterline with the LA Girl Neon Shockwave Liner in Vivid. I love these eyeliners. I can't get enough of them. I wish they had more colors. So I'm just going to pop that right in here. And then I'm going to take the shade Mafia, which is the black shade in the Mitchell palette. And I'm going to start putting that right under my under eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do something else under there. So once you're looking like a raccoon, that's where you want to be. That's like the best place to be. So just keep that in mind. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my NYX glitter glue. I'm going to put some of that on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to start putting that on top of that black. Just dabbing it. And 
then I'm gonna go in with a chunky glitter and it's this purple one. Now with chunky glitter you have to be careful because if it gets in your eye it will cut your eye. It can really damage your eyes so just be careful if you're gonna do this. That's a little intense. But I like it. So just keep in mind, you do not have to do glitter. Like, this is really intense glitter. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, but... I mean, that's just kind of, like, my thing. So, next what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to take the shade Michelle from the Mitchell palette. It's the super shimmery pink shade. And I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corners. Looks kind of, looks a little weird. I think, yeah, I'm going to take that off. I don't like the way that looks. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take the purple from the Soph palette with Makeup Revolution. It's the one we used for our eyebrow, our brow bone highlight. And if I can find my brush, I can't find it. So we're just going to take a different brush, whatever. And then I'm just going to use that for the inner corners. This highlight is so intense. I'm just going to add some bottom mascara. which is very difficult with this much glitter on my lower lashes. Let's get into face. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I'm going in with the No Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul. And I'm just really focusing that in my pore area. And then just kind of like blending out the rest. So that's like my, that's only my second time using this primer and I still feel the same way about it. I still feel like it makes me really, really greasy, so I'm probably not going to use that again. But anyways, let's just get right into the face. Jack it up.
just finished the look off with my lips and I used the ColourPop BFF Lippy pencil. And then for the lipstick, I used the Lime Crime Liquid Lip in Virgo. What I did was I just lined my lips and then I kind of just patted this on and then dabbed it out because it is a really, really pale nude. But other than that, the look is finished. I actually really enjoyed doing this look. Um, I really like purples. I think they complement my eye color really, really well. So I had fun with this one. All right, guys. So that is it for this look. What do you guys think? I actually really like it. I'm very impressed with the, the purple pigment. I didn't think it was going to be like this bright. So I'm really hoping it's picking up on camera. But it's definitely brighter than what I thought it was going to be. But I mean these pigments are amazing. These neon pigments. I will always rave about these. They just, they got it, you know. So, okay. So I guess that's it. I have nothing else to say other than I love you guys. And I really do appreciate when you guys send me looks to try. Um, sometimes I get in like a creative block that actually happens to me a lot. So it kind of helps me to, you know, get some inspiration. So if there's any looks that you guys want me to try, just comment down below or tag me in my socials. I will definitely see them and I will recreate them. So just let me know. But other than that, um, I hope everyone's doing well with everything that's going on. I know the world's kind of in a pretty chaotic place right now but I hope everyone is out there just staying safe and being careful so yeah please like and subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me this is like what I really want to do with my life so it's really gonna help seeing more followers coming in it makes me want to put out more content so anyways I will shut my gob um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye